Hey guys, it's Landon McCarter with Secure Agent Marketing. I'm gonna answer a question that is we get asked all the time. Um, it is basically a simple, when to invest in SEO as an insurance professional. Now, first off, I wanna make sure that I define SEO. That is search engine optimization. What search engine optimization is, is it's the process of building content, manipulating the content on your website, making sure that Google knows exactly what your website's about, etc. Um, to make sure that you're high up on the Google search rankings organically. So when someone Googles a keyword that you want to be known for in your area, you are found. I relate it to the old days of making sure that you're in the yellow book under the section that you want to be in. If you are a life insurance provider, but for some reason you're in a different section of the yellow book, you probably aren't gonna get any calls. Search engine optimization is the same way. It's the process of, of building content, manipulating the content to make sure that you're found organically. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna kinda of walk you through a little bit of how it works. I'm gonna do lots of videos on SEO. It's one of the things that we feel is we're the best at, at Secure Agent Marketing, is search engine optimization. And I wanna just kinda of walk through how it works, okay? So the first thing I wanna sort of walk through is I wanna make sure we're on the same page. What I'm gonna do here, so this is January, this is December, right? This is June, right? Now, over here, you got your number of website, website visits. Now, so let's say down here we've got 100, and up here we've got 10,000. Now, what we're trying to do with our website is drive attention, educate our audience in order to get a lead. The difference between Google organic traffic and Google paid or Facebook paid or Instagram paid or LinkedIn paid or whatever that is, is very simple. Search engine optimization is investing in today to build out content, to blog, to structure your website the correct way, investing that money in today so that you slowly increase your website traffic over time. Okay, it's gonna be a slow crawl. If you're doing search engine optimization less than six to 12 months at a time and expecting short-term results, you're not doing it right. That's not what you wanna do SEO for. It's a long-term investment. I'll also tell you that search engine optimization will always yield the highest return on investment over time. Here's why. If I invest in today in a content marketing strategy and I'm overall increasing my website traffic over time, if I ever cut my SEO budget, you kind of level off and you know you slowly de decrease, okay? As opposed to the flip side where we have paid traffic, right? So paid traffic is like Google AdWords, Facebook advertising, LinkedIn, potentially email marketing if you're paying for some type of platform that way, etc. right? So paid traffic serves as the inverse of search engine optimization. The way paid works is, is if you told me I want 10,000 people to my site tomorrow, we could do that with whatever, I would just tell you the budget that it would take. We wouldn't have to invest anything into the long term at all. You would just, I would give you a budget. I would say we're using Facebook, Google, and Instagram, and here's how much traffic we expect. Here's our click-through rates that we expect. Here's our conversion rates that we expect, etc. Now. So you would just automatically bump to the top of the page and get all of your traffic immediately, okay? Now, some people don't have the money, right, to just invest in paid traffic right away. So what you do, and also a downside of paid sometimes, is that if you ever cut your budget and you become dependent on paid traffic, your traffic goes to zero and you're back to where you started. So what I always try and tell people if they have a healthy digital marketing budget is you wanna invest in SEO right and paid traffic if you can if you have a healthy enough budget but if you're looking at short-term goals just do paid if you're looking at long-term goals and building your brand and building overall traffic to your site then you look at search engine optimization now this is i'm going to give you an advanced nugget that's maybe for some more advanced um, individuals that are watching this this uh, video one of the things that paid traffic specifically google uses is a metric called quality score quality score Quality score is nothing more than Google gives you a ranking. If I'm buying paid traffic and I'm driving them to a landing page on my website and I'm trying to buy a keyword, for instance, final expense, and my SEO on that actual landing page is not as good as another guy, the quality score, let's just say it's a five out of 10, right? And this other website has a nine out of 10, okay? Google is actually gonna give this person a cheaper click on paid than this person because you're you're sending their traffic to a better landing page, right? So what happens is, is if you really invest in your SEO the right way and you're doing paid as well, you can increase your value of your paid traffic 
because your organic SEO is better and your quality scores are increasing on your landing page. They're connected. So if you have a healthy enough budget on AdWords, one of the things that I say, if you're doing AdWords right now and you're not doing SEO, then typically it's because their ad agency doesn't know how to do SEO and they're kind of keeping you in the dark um, or they just don't know, which is okay. But that's another big reason on when you should do SEO. If you're doing paid and you're not doing SEO, you're kind of doing it wrong because you can save a lot of money. Sometimes you can pay for the SEO service by what you can save on the paid side. So this is a little more advanced of a video, but I hope you guys got some value out of when to invest in SEO. I'm gonna do lots of videos on SEO on how to you know, increase your ranking specifically, et cetera. So thanks for taking a little bit of time to learn and I appreciate your time. Uh, we'll talk again soon.